what a difference a couple of days makes and what a difference New Zealand are when the ball is swinging. Trent Bolt certainly proved that tonight and got the ball to swing and swing a lot. Caused a lot of trouble for the Indian batting lineup and that will be a little bit of a concern in these sorts of conditions. I mean, it's an anomaly to be fair because India are generally very, very good. They've been so good in the first three games. But tonight, just that difference when the ball swings back into the right-handers, away from the left-handers, Trent Bolt can cause all sorts of trouble. And you know there's a little bit in the surface when Colin de Grandom is actually moving the ball around and nipping it back through the gate as well. So a tough night for India. They'll put it behind them very, very quickly, but a great night for New Zealand and a really good result for them because I think their confidence would have been down. They would have been down and out a little bit after a 3-0 series loss with still two games to go. Good moves from New Zealand and the um, changes in the team, I think, also in the batting order. Getting Henry Nichols up to the top of the order puts a little bit of pressure on Colin Munro, and to me, that worked. I know it was a low total to chase, but Having said that, Nichols still had to do the job and he did it very well, along with Ross Taylor who I thought was outstanding again tonight, just finishing the game off for New Zealand. He loves this ground here in Hamilton, scores a lot of runs here and one of his favourite grounds to bat at. For India, well they've just got to find a way to get better in Wellington again or go back to the first three games. Leaving Mohamed Shami out, maybe that was just a rest and rotation. They will hope that MS Dhoni might be fit for the next game. was pleased to see Shubman Gill get an opportunity tonight and make his debut. Didn't get a lot of runs, but he did look okay at the start of his innings. I'm sure he'd be better for tonight's game, maybe get rid of those nerves, and if India get off to a decent start and then Shubman Gill is able to come to the crease, then maybe he'll be better for that in Wellington. So great win for New Zealand, poor performance from India. Just put that down to a bad night, forget about it, and move to Wellington in a couple of days and just be better.